Olenka and today I would love to show you how to make a baked caprese. Sounds intriguing, sounds interesting, sounds different, yes. And it is absolutely delicious and it looks like a million bucks. So follow me. With few ingredients, we can make something absolutely delicious. I have this beautiful heirloom tomato that one of my neighbors actually gave me. And I was looking at it and I was like, hmm, I think that we need to make something even prettier, you know? So we have some basil from the garden and we have some Kalamata olives. We have some fresh mozzarella, olive oil. Then we have some uh, balsamic vinegar, glaze, salt and pepper, and that's it. First things first, we need to remove the stem of the tomato, you know, the cachito, right? Now, we are going to flip the tomato, okay? So, where the stem used to be, now that part is down. And gently, we are going to start slicing the tomato, not all the way, okay? And then, like this, maybe about a quarter inch thickness. Not all the way to the bottom, right? I have a baking dish, okay? I am making just one tomato because it's huge, so for my husband and for me it will be more than plenty. But if you have, you know, like more people over, you make more, right? Uh, so I am going to transfer my tomato that is sliced and I am going to put it here on a baking dish because this is gonna go into the oven. So be mindful about where you're gonna put it. Here, I have some mozzarella slices, okay? And I am going to cut them in half so that way I can put them in between. one of those pleasures in life, right? Okay, now I have some olives that I quarter them lengthwise and I am going to start placing some of that, those olives, you know, like two pieces um, on each slice. So next to the, next to the mozzarella, right? Okay, now that I overlap all of my tomato and my basil and the mozzarella and all this, I'll sprinkle a little bit of salt and I am going to sprinkle also a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of my glaze of balsamic vinegar, but just a little bit, you know? You don't want a wall of this. Okay, now, one thing I have to tell you. At this point, this beauty is ready to be eaten by itself. See how beautiful it is? But if you want to make this, you know, to give it a, like a little twist or intensify the flavors, I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 10 minutes or so. So then the mozzarella is gonna melt, the tomato is gonna, you know, relax, and everything is going to be super extra. Okay, my friend, so what I am doing right now is I am adding some uh, baby leaves of basil so then things look a little bit more pretty right 
I mean, flavor wise, I can tell you this is absolutely marvelous. But what we really, really want is not just for this to taste absolutely divine, but for this to also look absolutely appetizing. Okay, my friends, dinner is served. What do you think? Beautiful, huh? Okay, let's try it. If you are into garlic, you can also try to add a little bit of minced garlic. Uh, that will add, of course, you know, like a little kick. I feel that this tomato is so sweet and so tender and so juicy and flavorful with the aromatic fresh basil. It does, for me, it doesn't need garlic, but that's a little twist that you can use. This is absolutely delicious. You know, with a piece of toast, if you are into bread or not. Um, I absolutely love it. I think that this is such a simple way to bring, elevate your plate, you know, your table uh, with a little twist and with a little seasoning and with mostly fresh elements from our garden, right? Okay, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Remember, you can do it. Whatever you decide to do and you are committed to do, you can do it. And I am here to help you if anything. Text me, call me, write me, whatever you need. And I'll be happy to be with you. And remember, use your secret weapon. Use your love. Lots of kisses to you all. And see you soon.